All right, now to answer this question, we need to use the FAA supplement book, figure 21. Now, the FAA supplement book is something that you will get issued to you when you go to take your test. They'll give you usually a few sheets of paper, a pencil, they'll give you instructions on how to run the computer, and then they'll give you this supplement book, and it's going to be used throughout the course, uh, throughout the test, excuse me, for several of the answers, and, and uh, you'll be referring back to it often. So in this case, in the question, it actually refers to figure 21, and I actually left the uh, diagram zoomed out here a little bit because I want to also show you something that the FAA does when they actually ask you these questions, and that is they give you only a portion of a sectional chart. So it's really easy when you have a big uh, sectional chart folded out completely and you can see all of the, uh, the latitude and longitude lines, but when you can only see a portion of it, it, it requires you to kind of interpolate what's between or where is 47 degree, first of all, where's 100 degree, and so on, because they've only given you these two numbers here. Now the question is, what airport is located approximately 47 degrees, 40 minutes north latitude? And we know that latitude are these lines that lay flat, or you know, latitude across the chart. So we only see 48 degrees latitude, we don't see 47. Now we know that there are 60 individual minutes between latitudes and longitude. So if we come down here, knowing that each one of these long marks is 10, there's 10, 20, 30. So this is only halfway right here to 47, you know, and then so on, 40 and so on. So what we have to do is back our way up to get to 47. So since this is 48 and 49 is higher than this, we know that if we come down 10, this is 47 degrees 50 minutes. This would be 47 degrees 40 minutes. And that's actually what the question was, is what airport is located approximately 47 degrees 40 minutes north? So this is our north line right here. Now we need to find where 100 degrees 26 minutes west longitude is. So here's our 101 degree. So all we need to do is count over 26 minutes, knowing that again, the long lines are 10. So here's 101, here's 101, 10, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And if I come straight down, I see that Garrison Airport is where we're at. Now if I come across, you'll see that we end up right at that line when we were doing the 46 minutes. So again, excuse me, 47 minutes. 47 is below 48. And again, 47, 50, 47, 40 puts us right there. We come over and again, Garrison Airport lines up with there. Now let's zoom in a little bit because I know we are zoomed out and I wanted to show you the chart, but it'll make more sense if we're zoomed in slightly here. So again, let's take a look at that one more time. 48 degrees, we come back 10, that's 47.50. Another 10, that's 47.40. So again, the question 47 degrees, 40 minutes north. That's our north latitude. And we come right across, that lines up with garrison. Now we'll do the 101 degrees longitude, and that's 26 minutes. So 101 degrees, 26 minutes. So again, 101, 10, there's a long line, 20, another long line, and then six additional minutes. So we're at 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. I come straight down, and there we are. Garrison Airport lines up again with both of those figures. So the answer is C, Garrison Airport, question number one. All right, now to answer question number two, we have to refer to figure 26 in the supplement. And they specifically ask, what does the line of latitude at area four measure? Now they've designated a few things around the chart that they may refer other questions to. This one specifically calls out area number four. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that, take a look at that closer. So again, 
what does the line of latitude remember latitude are the lines that lay flat these are the lines that move up from the equator so the line of latitude would be 47 degrees and what does that line measure well answer number a the degrees of latitude east and west of the prime meridian well we can't be east and west if we're laying flat here this is north and south because we're north of the equator 47 degrees question two or excuse me answer number two the degrees of latitude north and south from the equator well that kind of sounds like what i was just talking about so if the equator is zero we're 47 degrees north of the equator so that answer would work and then the last one the degrees of latitude east and west of the line that passes through greenwich england well, Greenwich, England and the Prime Meridian are really the same thing. And again, those are on the lines of longitude. So if you look at 99 degree here, uh, the line that passes through Greenwich, England and is the Prime Meridian is actually the zero degree longitudinal line. So question uh, number two, answers A and C are really saying the same thing. The only option is then answer B, which is the degrees of latitude north and south from the equator because again we are 47 degrees north of the equator which is the zero degree uh, latitude line so the answer is B for question two All right, question number 24 has us refer to figure 22, area 2. So let's go ahead and tighten up on that area there a little bit. And this is a fairly simple question. So the question asked, at the Coeur d'Alene Airport, which frequency should be used as the common traffic advisory frequency, also known as CTAF, to monitor airport traffic? Well, if you look right here, this is the Coeur d'Alene Airport. And right off to the right, you have the description, Coeur d'Alene. It gives a three-letter designator. They try and throw you off with this frequency here, this AWOS, which is the Airport Weather Observation System. And that is 135.075, which is one of the answers. But the correct answer is right here, and it's 122.8, which is also designated by this little C in the circle, which stands for the CTAF. So the correct answer to question number 24 is C, 122.8. All right, now question number 25 is kind of a tricky one, and they're trying to test a couple different things here. First, we need to go to figure 26, area number four. And the question is, you have been hired to inspect the tower under construction. So if you remember from our sectionals uh, instructional video, under construction, you'll see a UC next to a tower. So you've been hired to inspect a tower under construction at 46.9 north and 98.6 west near Jamestown Regional. What must you receive prior to flying your unmanned aircraft in this area? Well, they've done a couple things. One, they're trying to see if you know how to find an, a tower that's under construction. Two, they're throwing out some different numbers here. We're used to seeing degrees, minutes, and seconds. And in this one, they've just kind of thrown out 46.9 and 98.6. So let's break that down. Um, let's start with the 98.6 because I think that'll make a little bit more sense. If we look over here to the right, we see that 98 degrees longitude line is here. And if we follow above 98 and we come all the way over here, we see the 98 degree longitudinal line. Now they say 98.6. So if I went about halfway between those two, you'll see right here that there's a tower that says UC. So this is the tower under construction. So again, 98 Point 0.5, point 0.6, this puts us right about here. And then the other coordinate is 46.9. So again, here's the 47 degree latitude line, 
We know that 46 is below here, and they're saying that we're almost to the 47 line. So if we come up, we kind of have to interpolate and estimate that, okay, we're almost to 47. This is the only tower that's near Jamestown that is under construction that's almost to the 47 degree latitude line. And it lines up with the 98.6, puts us right in the middle here. So the question is, what must you receive prior to flying your unmanned aircraft in this area? Answer A, authorization from the military. Well, no, there's no military in this immediate area. There is some military airspace up here as designated by the Devil's Lake MOA, which is a military operations area. And that's designated by this magenta hashed line. But there's no military airspace down here. So the second answer is authorization from ATC. Well, that would make sense because Jamestown airspace uh, does go all the way to the floor, which is designated by this dashed line here. And then the final one is authorization from the National Park Service. Well, that doesn't really fly. We're not in a park in this particular area. There are some other areas over here in National Refuge. But again, the best answer in this case is authorization from ATC, which is air traffic control. And in this case, because this tower is under construction and within the Jamestown airspace, you would be contacting the Jamestown ATC on 123.0. So the answer is answer B, authorization from ATC. Question 26 asks us to refer to figure 20, area 3. And the question is, with ATC authorization, you are operating your small unmanned aircraft approximately 4 statute miles southeast of Elizabeth City Regional Airport. What hazard is indicated to be in that area? And we have three answers here. We have A, high density military operations in the vicinity. B, an unmarked balloon on a cable up to 3,008 feet AGL. And C, an unmarked balloon on a cable up to 3,008 feet MSL. So let's take a look at that. So area number three is right here. We're gonna find uh, Elizabeth City is right there. Here's the designator and here's the airport. And it says that we are operating approximately four statute miles south east of the airport. Now, again, it says SM for statute miles, not nautical miles. So we're looking right in this area here. And you're going to notice there's a little dotted line that comes down to a note and it says caution. Unmarked balloon on a cable to 3,008 feet MSL. Check the notums or notice to airmen. So if we follow that in here, that puts us right into that area. Again, this is typically about a four nautical mile ring. Uh, so it puts us right here that this would be south and this would be east. And that puts us right into there where that note is. So the answer is C unmarked balloon on a cable up to 3,008 feet MSL.